and Halloween cookies. Hi everyone and welcome to the Cookie Couture. Today I'm going to show you how you can decorate some Halloween cookies using fondant. I am also going to use this super great cookie cutter for a jack-o-lantern. I'm going to leave you the link in the description box below so please check it out and I cannot wait to share with you how I'm going to make these fondant cookies for Halloween. But first if you are new here in my channel please don't forget to subscribe and push the notification button and let's get started. <music> These are the items that I used to decorate this cookie and also you can look in the description box below for this list. Very good! I am going to start by cutting my cookie and then I'm going to bake it at 350 Fahrenheit degrees for 10 to 13 minutes. When you use fondant already made, normally it is very very hard. Okay, as you can see it's very hard the only thing that you need to do is leave it in the plastic bag put it in the container and put it in the microwave for about 10 seconds this will help to soften the fondant and it will be ready to use very good I am going to use a silicone mat to roll out my fondant here I have my cookie I have my fondant roller and I am going to use the cookie cutters that I use to make my so the fondant, it is so nice and soft. Now you just need to knead it a little bit until everything is very evenly softened, okay? Because sometimes there are little pieces that are harder, but like the fondant, it's still a little bit warm. The heat on the fondant will help soften the other little pieces that are still hard. Now I am going to put a little bit of watermelon put your color to the fondant. Very little. And I'm going to knead it until everything is nice and even. If you want, you can put globes, but I don't like to work fondant using globes. So I just wash my hands very nicely and dry them completely because if you have water in your hands, the fondant is not going to like it. Now I am going to roll out my fondant and I'm going to make a very thin layer of fondant so my cookie is not super heavy. Now I am going to cut out using the same cookie cutter that I used to cut out my cookie. Now take the excess and when you're done using your fondant you just need to knead it again and put it again in a plastic bag. If not it's going to get dry. I'm going to have a cookie and we're going to place the fondant and see if it's the right size. Okay, okay perfect, okay. Now I am going to use this to make the little face, okay? So I'm gonna cut the fondant very carefully. And yes, I'm cutting it over the cookie, okay? So be very careful. And over here, the other one. Now I'm gonna make the little mouth. Try to push as hard as you can. Don't break your cookie, obviously. As you can see, this is a very cute and simple design and I'm going to show you also how you can make a little more intricate design. I want to take out the eyes. I'm going to do some carving. Very, very careful. Try to clean these faces if there's some fondant. Just clean it so it looks nice and neat. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing with the other eye. Very good. Now I am going to use an edible marker and I'm going to trace the eyes. Now very carefully I'm gonna take it out and put it aside. 
Now I'm going to put a little bit of flooding consistency icing in. Now I am going to cover the eyes and the mouth using this gold edible glitter. Now I'm gonna shake the excess. I'm gonna clean a little bit and I'm gonna let it dry completely. Mm, very well. Now that it's dry, I'm going to put a little layer of icing all around here so we can glue our fondant, okay? Now I'm going to place very carefully and this is another example on how you can make this cookie. It looks super cute and fancy. Now if you want to mark the lines of the pumpkin you just need to use a toothpick now in this part I'm just going to grab any brush that you have and you are going to make just little dents in here I am going to put a little bit of the royal icing I am going to put edible glitter and what you want to do here is before it gets dry try to do the dance again Good. to make the leaves I am going to use this tiny leaf cookie cutter and I tinted a little bit of fondant using moss food gel color okay now I'm going to roll out the fondant very thinly and I'm going to cut out the leaves. Now what I'm going to do is mark the little lines on the leaves using icing and you can use any shade of green. Now I am going to cover them with glitter. Very good. Now I'm going to have a little piece of the green fondant and I'm going to roll it over the glitter that is left on the leaves. And now I am going to stretch it and roll it. And what I like about this fondant is that it's very very nice and you can work very nicely with it so it is always good to buy a good quality fondant and now I'm going to put a little bit of icing in here to be any color because it's going to cover now I'm going to put this in here and I'm going to press Now I am going to do the same thing in the other side. Now it's time for me to put the leaves. I'm going to use the same royal icing that I had it there, but if you feel that you need to add a little bit more, you can add more. And remember that the fondant is very flexible and you can play with it and give it a little shape.
and that's it our pumpkin is super festive and ready 